Is this the best thrash metal album of 2024 so far? Let's find out. Today I'm going to talk about the new album by the Suicidal Angels called Profane Prayer. The album was released on March 1st, 2024 through Nuclear Blast Records. The album has nine songs. It's 48 minutes long. This band is from Athens, Greece. They're part of that new wave of thrash metal that came out in the 2000s. That album uh, was called uh, Eternal Domination, which was their first album back in 2007. And they have a total of eight albums in their discography, which is kind of impressive uh, for a band these days. In this video, I'm just going to go track by track. I'm going to dissect their sounds very thoroughly. I'm going to talk about the different aspects of what makes this band. Uh, you'll notice that they are very unique. You'll also notice that uh, the front half of the album has some songs that are different than some of the songs on the second half. I will explain all that as I go through this, so uh, let's get into it. What the lions die! The first track is called When the Lions Die. This is a great song. It was released as a single and the first song I listened to from this album. It takes off right out the gate. They let you know what this album is all about. This is melodic thrash metal. It reminds me of the band Creator, but from that album, Hordes of Chaos, and the albums after that. Back then, our Creator had more of this like melodic sound, so it was more like that. And the guitar playing also reminds me of Amon Amarth, which is a melodic death metal band, and there are hints of that subgenre on this album. I really like that this band embraces uh, what thrash bands call mosh parts, where they just come to a complete stop and change the rhythm completely. I really like it. called Crypts of Madness. This one starts off and ends as like a very fast, aggressive, technical thrash metal song. But what this band likes to do is they like to change it up at times. There's a part in the middle where they completely slow down. This middle part reminded me a lot of Slayer, mostly from that period going from South of Heaven to Seasons in the Abyss. I heard a lot of that influence on uh, this band. And this band loves to speed it up, they love to slow it down, and I think that's really what I like about it. After this is Purified by Fire, it's pretty much everything I said about uh, the previous song. Everything applies here, but there's one main difference. It's just all out fresh metal. It just moves at breakneck speed, lots of aggression, lots of rapid fire riffing, and then at the last minute, and of the second half of the song, they kind of switch gears and slow it down. And they do that melodic Slayer style, as I was talking about before. I think that's like the big difference here. But so far, we're three songs into the album, and this album has been pretty consistent. They're going to change it up later, and I'll get into that. It's called Death Stalker. This one has some guest musicians on it. It's one of the longer songs at a little over eight minutes. Starts off with an acoustic intro, but it's not a thrash ballad or anything like that. First four minutes, move at a mid pace, and the thing that stands out on this song, there are a lot of melodic harmonized leads. I think that's something that this band does very well. The song continues to be very melodic. They even do something um, completely different. They add some clean vocals uh, during the middle or the second half of the song. And then to close out the song, they get a little thrashier, but for the most part, it's a mid-paced song, but it's kind of long. It's over eight minutes long, but I think it, they don't really waste any time in that duration. Next is the title track called Profane Prayer, and you can forget what I said about what they were doing on the first four tracks. Uh, this one is pretty much straightforward thrash metal. It's fast, it's aggressive, they still have some tempo changes, but they're not as pronounced as they were in the previous songs. If you're looking for something that's just heavy, fast thrash with great guitar riffs and uh, lots of melodic leads, lots of fast drumming, I think this is a really great song. A lot of the songs like from here on forward, except for the last one, are gonna be a little more straightforward. So let me uh, continue. Return of the Reapers next. This one is similar to the one right before it. A little more straightforward. They don't change the tempos too much. I thought it was one of the catchier songs. It had a chorus that was uh, very memorable. Overall, I like this guy. Next 
song is called Guard of the Unseen. This was similar to the two tracks right before it. I think the one difference is they turned up the speed a little bit more in this one. It was a little bit more of an aggressive thrash song, but otherwise it was more or less straightforward. Not a lot of drastic tempo changes throughout the song, and just a really good track. Second to last song is called Virtues of Destruction. This is the shortest song. It's under three minutes. And it's aggressive thrash metal. It's straightforward. It's in your face. They don't really slow down on the song. This is you know, really the only one. It's type of song reminded me of uh, early Sepultura. It's short, it's to the point, it's fast. If you're looking for that type of song, this one is uh, for you. Last song is called uh, The Fire Paths of Fate. Uh, it's completely different uh, than the previous songs on the album because it's a long song. It's close to 10 minutes long and there's like a lot going on. The song starts with some female vocals and it sounds like some Middle Eastern chanting and like that type of sound. But this song in general, or at least the first half, is very dissonant. A lot of like distorted, sustained guitar chords. and The vocals are still pretty aggressive, but there's more of an emotional tone in the overall sound. It's a slower song. It's not really a thrash metal song, more like slow, dissonant metal. They break up the song about halfway through this with this creepy piano interlude. I thought that was pretty cool. They don't completely lose the thrash because the song takes off with uh, some heavy thrash after about six minutes or six and a half minutes. The song then continues with some uh, Middle Eastern singing like they were uh, doing before. There's some Middle Eastern sounding guitar bits and the female vocals come in and that kind of closes out the song. So now for my final thoughts. I think it's my favorite thrash metal album of 2024 so far. I'm not going to say it's the best because it depends on what your definition of the best is. I think if you're looking for something a little more extreme, I would recommend the recent album by Morbid Saint called uh, Swallowed by Hell. But if you're looking for something that has more melody, more tempo changes, something a little bit more accessible, but at the same time, they're not trying to recreate the Black Album, I would say check it out. This is the album for you. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10, only because I think it checks all the boxes of uh, what I'm looking for in a good thrash metal album. So that is all. Check out my review of uh, Swallowed by Hell by Morbid Saint. I'll stick that right here. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this album. Uh, please remember to like this video. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, please subscribe if you have not already. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. I do uh, what I say. <laughs> Rock and Metal Reviews. I'll see you in the next one. Three, two,